I played for St Kilda, but I was in those days I was more of a Fitzroy supporter. Fitzroy, when I was okay. Following, but I was still playing. Yeah. For, for Who sport. taught you to kick the ball, then, Alex? Was that just uh, a natural uh, ability? You just yes, took it, it was. from the other coach. I could only drop kick. When I first started playing, I was in rules in Canberra. I could only drop kick uh, because that's what I was brought up on and place kick. But yeah. there's no no room for place kick. You, you had great balance, you had, you had real good balance. Well. Stay on your feet. I mean, yeah, I mean, the yeah, name yeah, of the game yeah, is staying on right. your feet. That's, that's right. balance. That's balance. Yeah. 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 That was very Baldock like, though. Your ground little yep. stuff was very Took much like Daryl yeah. Baldock, wasn't it? Well, Baldy, as, as I said, I just uh, loved watching him play. And probably uh, subconsciously, I wanted to play like him. Well, if East Perth was the first club to sort of uh, you know, put out feelers, uh, tell us a story about how you actually got down to Princess Park. Well, that's a story in and itself. Um, were you going to North? Was <coughs> I'd signed with North. I'd signed with uh, mm. North Melbourne, I think it was in 1966 or something. We were on an end of season trip with East Lake Footy Club up in uh, Service Paradise. And there was a couple of North Melbourne, Tony Trainer and uh, our killer. Yeah. And they pestered me up there for two days just as we arrived there. Uh, I said, Hey, get out off my back. I'm, you know, I'm here to enjoy myself. And they just kept at me and at me and at me. And I, anyway, I rang up um, Jack Dorman from, from Canberra, who was uh, the president of the ACT Football League in those days. And he just said, well, sign a form, sign what they've got, because Canberra's a, a, a protected, territory. protected area and it's mm. null and void. So I just signed the thing and see you later. I didn't see them <laughs> for the rest of the time. <laughs> so, but when I... Um, I came to, um, to Melbourne um, because in those days it was a protected area and you had to get a, you had to get a, <laughs> a promotion in your job yeah. to come down. I got a promotion in my, I was working in, in the Navy Department in the public service and uh, I got down to Melbourne in a promotion. Were you in the office or were you building the ships, Jezza? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was a class five uh, Clerical assistant. I was in the <laughs> photocopying yeah. machine, you know, yeah, all, right, the, yeah. all the photocopies. And uh, anyway, there was about four or five clubs chasing me before I came down. I went again. I went to uh, Jack Dorman, and I. Mm. But that's part of the game. Um, yeah, but marking was uh, something I I loved doing. Enjoyed. That's, that's sort of what pushed me virtually towards Australian rules football. Was. The, the ability of to go up. On, yeah. on players' backs, and we used to do that a lot, um, watching games in Canberra. And most of our training was end-to-end -end work yeah. in Canberra. And you'd two groups get up there, and you only had one footy. The only way to, mm. to get the ball was either the market, the, the market, or to crumb it. That's right. And there's too many on the <laughs> too many on the ground to get it. You ever so get up there, Jez, and think to yourself, yes, "I've got to come down." <laughs> you, ever, you ever get up there and you think, "Oh, I'm in trouble." You ever, like just the height? And uh, there was only once. I think, was it? I, I Which up, one was that I one? Up the, uh, was it training? At <laughs> <laughs> training. You get up there and you say, "Whoa, I've got to come down." I mean, these but, marks are just absolutely uh, yeah. sensational. In fact, uh, it's interesting, Jesse. You mentioned about kick to kick. That's one 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 of the uh, I suppose warm up drills mm. that used to be done in the days when I played and you played and, and Bobby played. Mm. It's probably not done these days because it was all about pack marking in those days and. And I know Tommy Hafey always used to think it was a very important part of training because taught blokes how to take marks, how to get buffeted. Little blokes like myself used to wait down, pick up the crumbs, so we'd sort of practice our roving skills. I mean, these days it's probably not high tech enough. Well, these days they're told not to kick the contests. Mm -hmm. They're That's told right. to kick to the fat side and all those sort of things <laughs> where they to get away from, from contested yeah. marks. I mean, it, that's not, to me, that's well, not the game. Looking at that mark football. there, Alex, w did you take off a fraction early? Yeah, this is the mark. Oh, this is entry. Oh. oh. <laughs> of course, it's the famous mark, uh, Jess Linker, you beauty, which was yeah. named the greatest mark ever taken in uh, AFL football. <laughs> did you think you were going to take the mark? <laughs> well, you don't think you ever go. Nichols walks around, picks a long one right in towards the square. And the mark taken by Colling. I don't know about Colling, you know. He's not all that tall, but he handles those resting ruckmen pretty well. Very comfortable. Kick now. Up she goes. Take on Nichols once again. He's burning again on his preliminary final. What a pass. Oh, if you don't mind. It's a wrong footer too, Mike. Oh. Beautiful. 
has popped that off the side of his boot. Perfect position for Jezelenko to make. I don't well, think Jez would have ripped his head again had he dropped that one. He's had four shots from this position, Mike. Let's see if he can. And he's kicked three behind and one out of bounds. You should know which way it's going now. Jezelenko, 40 yards out again, directly in front. It's on its way. It's better. It's better. He's through. 26 and a half minutes into the opening quarter of the quickly back here to uh, Croswell. Croswell, an enormous kick down forward. Jesselenko there, yes! And he's paid it. Got to pay it. Got a bad leg, this fella, yes. too. You can see the limp on him. He looks very concerned. Mm, tremendous effort. He's only kicked one, you know. I think he's kicked about 1-5. One goal, five behinds, Jesselenko. He's about 35 yards out. He's on a slight angle. Up he comes now. Oh, he's missed this one too, I think. Oh, well, may have swung around. Through. Yes. By oh, golly, that was heading for the behind post. Of Roma, yeah, for the behind post. And snapped away by Craney towards full forward. Jesselenko comes out. And he's taken the mark. 30 yards out on the net. Oh, very quickly went for a limp, too. It's a bit of trouble, Jesser, I think. Yes. Now, he would be about 35 yards out. And only a slight angle, a ton of goal space open to him. It's on its way. The result is put it through. That's his third on now, gone for the bounce. Jason killed her a rattle. In towards full forward, Bob Murray punches, but Jezelenko held it firm. What a strong one. And he's what still a got a one. bad leg. Jessa has kicked three. Well, that's well, three, five, I think. Three goals, five behinds he's kicked. And he is 30 yards out, directly in front. He comes now. Kicking to the Richmond end goal. What's he done? But it's through. Fourth. And this is certainly Carlton's corner. There's no shadow. Comes up. Oh, his kick is a long one, but a tough line. Jesselenko's mark. Got out there in front of Clifton and showed enormous concentration. Jesselenko, hard up against that boundary line, as you can see. This is going to be a miraculous kick if he can steer it through. Kick with the Richmond end goal. Ball. Let's see what he does with it. It's on its way. Oh, don't tell me. Fantastic. possibly miss it. He's got one. He's only five yards out, directly in front. Jessar. Look at the concentration. There she is, right through the centre. Jessalinko's second goal. And Carlton are in front once again. On the half-board flank. And he, Mr. Ian Robertson, was there to get it. Jessalinko looking for that lead. The kick down, Jesselenko comes in, goes up, and OK! Oh, what a mark! He's kicked two goals, Jesselenko. He would be 40 yards out. 40 yards out directly in front, kicking to the Richmond end goal. It's on its way, he'll get the distance. What about accuracy? Yes! Right well, through, that's his third. And what an opening. Fly high, no mark. Jackson gets it across here to Jesselenko. Jesselenko trotted it forward, picks up, and puts it through. Four goals on the board. And, and good play effort. by Kevin Hall. And do so. In comes Tully. Across it goes to Greening. Look at this. Play on as a call. Kevin Hall comes in up. Kevin Hall to Jesselenko. Just the leg go into an open goal, he's put it through. Oh, look at this. A good call, Mike. Terrific piece of football. That's Jesselenko's fifth goal. Goes down and holding the ball, it goes to Thornley. 
Bert Thornley of Carlton with the ball. He tries a hand pass to Jessalenko. This could be dangerous. Jessalenko steadies. He shoots at the big ones. Look at this. Either a goal or a mark. Down towards Jessalenko. Jessalenko in front. Has it knocked away, but he butters up again. He hooks it around. And the ball taken by O'Callaghan. Picked up by Crosswell. Crosswell off the ground. But it's smothered, however. Here they come once again. Hopkins to Jessalenko. Jessalenko left it snap. But it's through. Can Carlton come back? The play, Teddy Hopkins. A nice goal, Jessa. Ooh, Set themselves, Clifton, no mark. Potter come through. Could be holding the ball, He's or what's it. he going to do? Jessalenko. Jessalenko, 15 yards out. On the slightest of angles. You could say directly in front. Go on, Blue! Up he comes. That's through, that's through, and that's his eight. A can of nine goals, Jessalenko. Five metres out from goal, John Nichols screaming out, get it moving and get it going quickly, but it's Walls, who goes for the short pass up towards the forward, pocket punched away from Jessalenko. His first recover, traps the ball, the ball nearly carried over the line, he's still in business, Good and that's line. great football by Jessalenko. Did go well to clever in play. Got forward flank is... Alex Jezelinko. You're unbelievable. You're so unbelievable. It's Jezelinko with the ball now. Look at this fella move. Jezelinko. You're unbelievable. You're unbelievable. Yeah. Towards ball forward. And the run for Jessalenko. Good bounce there for Quirk. Who uh, comes Jessalenko. And look at this fella go. He runs into Francis Quirk. He steadies. Basic goal. Jessalenko waits for it. Seizes the opportunity to play on. Runs through the back pocket now. Approaches the half back flank after three bounces, four bounces. Five bounces, no, gets a hand pass across towards McClure. Mc Out of the square now, kicking back toward the member side, half-back flank position. Jezelenko flies from behind, and that's a beautiful mark for Jezelenko. Went up one hand. Anyhow, the ball this time at court, he's knocked it away, but Barassi roving beautifully to this, grabs the ball, kicks it over here towards it's Jezelenko. Jezelenko swings around onto his left foot, he's hooked it! It's a glorious goal! Uh, picked up by Stewart, Stewart with a left foot kick, puts it up here almost to Jezelenko. He grabs it, puts it on his foot. Right through the centre. Another hand pass, this time to Gallagher, in trouble. Walks well, straight away to uh, Jezelenko, and Jezelenko's kicked his fourth. It's picked up here by John Gill. John Gill puts it onto his boot, up towards... Oh, look at Jezelenko! What a ripper! As the ball is kicked back by Gary Crane, and Jezelenko has done it again! It's the ball up, and he shoots it right down towards the goal area. Oh, and Kekovic fell over, Barassi had his name on it. Jezelenko goes in, he... Oh, look at that will of the west, but he followed that ball around there all the way. And he grabbed it and put it straight through. Paul has Geelong grab it. Now Collingwood grab it. Little Terry board. He puts it under his foot to Jezalenko. And he pulled it down again. Here he is, the idol of the Carlton crowd. No doubt about this. As the ball is now being thrown in. Nichols and Farmer. Nobody gets the tap down. Sergi knocks it on to Jezalenko. Jezalenko lines it up. Look at it. Right through the middle. A bit of the duel by far with, against Reed. As the ball is kicked down now, up they go. Sarakoski can't take the mark. Coming across is Jezelenko. Jezelenko just hits the ball in, lines that up and right through the centre. Position punch down again, coming to Wood Croswell. Croswell quickly on the left foot now. A chance for Jezelenko running into the end goal. Goes for the handball to Jones and Jones two yards out. He's got it through. He's struggling for it forward. It's Jezelenko with the ball now. Look at this fella move. Steps a shot at goal. It's it's good. Good. back. Good. Gill takes his kick, it's swinging towards centre half for the Carlton players coming out. Oh, Jezelenko! No yeah. doubt! But he was hotly pressed, a chance for Jezelenko. Well, Heath, Jezelenko plays! And takes the mark. It's Carlton doing as they like. Crane lining up the goals from 45 yards out. The kick a poor one. It's fallen short. Jezelenko recovers first, picks up, steps over his shoulder. 
Throw in takes place with Kenny Beck in front of Nichols. Nichols gets the tap down, picked up by Blood. Oh, he's off. He was unloaded as he got it. Uh, he's boot to the ball, picked up by Jezelenko, who steps back over his head. And another count on goal. Ball right down. It's a drop punt, a chance for Jezelenko if he can climb. He'll have to climb. Yes, he does. Back hooks it in towards full forward. No mark. Down onto the ground. Jezelenko in there. Tackled oh. solidly by McKenzie. Still going. Turns round into an open goal. He's on an angle and puts it through. White gets it up towards centre half forward. The players hit themselves. Jesselenko couldn't hold it, but he butters up as usual. Jesselenko down forward. Here's a go for the Blues. Big John there. And a this will go through. Aaron goes to Jenkins. Hits down. Hopkins has it. He tries to scramble a ball. Jesselenko shoots. Oh! Kai to the wing position on the member stand side. Oh, Jesselenko, you beauty! Have lined up on the centre wing position. There's a beautiful kick by Robinson, well down the ground. The pack lifts him straight through the pack as Dinovich comes out trying to buy us through the pack. Jezelenko grabs the ball, hooks it back towards the big ones. It'll be close to the line, but Kevin Neal is right on there. It's too far. Oh! It's a goal. It's Kevin Neal went too far back, took the mark on his chest, but he was behind the line. And it's uh, first goal to uh, Carlton. Jezelenko there being congratulated by big uh, Peter Jones. And Mackay, his kick going deep down into the forward zone. They fly high. It's knocked away, however. A chance for Jesselenko. Dixon comes in. Jesselenko takes it. Jesselenko, a short one to Jackson. Good play. It's a tap down to what's calling. Keo's in the lead. We'll break away, go for the short pass. Not a good pass. Comes to Jesselenko. It was an awkward bounce, but he controls it well. Bounces out the punt. Coming to an open goal. 20 yards up. Puts it through the middle. Oh, play. It's Jesselenko. He's the man, they need to fire, it's his second goal, and also Carlton's third goal for the match. Let's see what's going to happen, it's Keogh to take his kick from the wing position now, down towards the pocket, there's the worm, Jesselenko, Jesselenko in trouble, but gets out of it as usual, Jesselenko. Gallagher drives the ball down, looking for Jesselenko, kneels there, punches the ball away, it comes through to Jackson, he gets a hand pass through, it's taken by Jesselenko, hooks the ball back towards the big ones, it's full for Carlton. A great goal to Jezelenko, his third, his third, Carlton's eighth and there's only four points separating the two sides now with Carlton 8-8, eight, eight, St Kilda 8-12. Trouble, but it goes to Gallagher, Gallagher's clear, Gallagher down forward, Jezelenko! And now his leg's gone, he's had more troubles than a dog's got fleas today, the shoulder, the nose and now the leg. He's kicked three into the bargain. I suppose if you had Cowboy Neal uh, falling all over, it wouldn't do you much good. Jesselenko, he's on an angle. He's only about 25, 30 yards out, kicking up to the scoreboard end. It's on its way. This looks a better kick. Oh, no worries. The goal up high never moved an inch. Right through the centre. And Bobby, what about it? Well, there's Jezelenko in the screen at the moment, obviously all right. I think Neil actually stood on his foot um, after Jezelenko had taken that mark. You can see just in from the boundary line. Keogh goes for a short one, looking for Jezelenko and finds him. Cowboy Neil, I would say fortunate not to get a 15-yard penalty. Jezelenko taking his time, but uh, obviously not hurt on that occasion, just taking plenty of time. To recover. Well, Jezelenko has the chance of pulling Carlton in front, I would say, for the first time. He's in almost a similar position to when he, where he kicked the last goal. Oh. Yes! Not quite as straight, but still four points, and that's Jezelenko's fifth goal. And Duel gets Carlton out of trouble. He goes wide and finds Jezelenko, who used his pace to advantage on that occasion to get well clear of Cowboy Neal. Jezelenko's right out on the half-forward line. A lovely kick by Jezelenko. Puts it down almost to the goal square. Walls was up high. It comes through to Judson. Judson drives the Saints out of bother. It comes. Robertson knocks the ball away, but it's back. Jezelenko oh. comes through. Bursts through the pack. Drives it down. Gallagher looks as though he may have the cramp. Umpire Coates bouncing the ball about 15 yards out. Comes down to Gallagher. He grabs the ball. Can't get his foot to the ball. Jezelenko comes through into the open goals. And he's got the six. Six goals to Jezelenko. Well, I bet you Cowboy Neal at the moment.
St Kilda be if they get rolled. But then again, who can take credit away from the Blues? There's Keo now, driving them into attack once again. Up they go, Walls couldn't hold it. Jessalenko breaks clear. Jessalenko drives. He's put it through. That's his seventh. There he is, the miracle man. He's got the crook right shoulder. Jessalenko's seventh goal. There's the break. Goes, but McKellar comes in, gets a tap away, taken by Kevin Hall. Kevin Hall down towards centre half forward. Jessalenko leading out. Jessalenko loses control of the ball. Over anxiousness, but he's still going. Jessalenko now tries a short one. It'll come off. Theo Marks. Ball. Gallagher favouring the drop punt. Goes over looking for Jessalenko now. And it's a great mark by Jessalenko in the middle of the pack virtually. I think he caught Kevin Sheedy unawares. Uh, Sheedy made no attempt to punch that ball away, and uh, purely, I think, because he didn't realise that Jezelinko had it. Jezelinko about 45 yards out. The kick, it looks right oh, through the oh, centre. Right. A lovely kick by Jezelinko. Jezelinko's first. Carlton's third. Wolves thought about playing on. Now he elects to do so. Goes driving down, looking for John Nichols and Boyanich. Nichols up high, and the big fella's almost taken it. Jezelinko comes through, puts a foot to the ball. Put a Both throw. points are going. A great goal by Alex Jezelinko. A freak. His second, Carlton sixth. And I mentioned Richmond coming back. Players, McCullough and Nichols. Nichols gets a knock, but it's taken by Kevin Martin. He can't get the ball clear. Highwood of Richmond has it here again. Can't get it out. Gallagher comes in, puts the ball back down towards the goal square. And Jezelinko! What a wonderful mark on that occasion. Completely out of position, threw himself at the ball and took that one. Jezelinko has kicked three. Two goals to Jezelinko. Going for his third. Jezelinko only 25 yards out. The kick. Close to the book goal, but it's again four points as Carlton really have a run on. Seven. Taken by Hurst. Hurst of Carlton now up forward. Jessalinko's backing back there with Clay and Jessalinko's one out. He's kicked three. And Jessalinko is 30 yards out directly in front. The worm. It's on its way, but I think he's missed this one. No, he hasn't. No, it's swung back. Well, you can see Boynich looking at the goal umpire saying he thought... Long and wide, all on his own as Robert Walls. He spills the mark, it's knocked away. It's Jezalinko, though. Jezza goes in towards the big ones. It's true, it's a goal to Carlton. And it's 14 goals scored in this quarter as Jezalinko kicks his fifth goal. Armstrong up to the forward zone. Up goes Boyan, it's very high, but it's sharked by Gallagher. Gallagher across towards the worm. Jezalinko, it's his. Jessalenko's kick, he's got five on the board and he is no more than 35 yards out directly in front. Number 25, what a player. The ball being returned to Jessalenko. Very cool and calm about the whole business. Jessalenko, 35 yards out directly in front, kicking up to the scoreboard end. Lining them up, really going for the doctor. It's on its way. It's a goal, that's his sixth. And Carlton. Percy Jones is in the box seat, but it comes to Highwood who hand passes. Has Dress it snatched away by Jezalenko. Seven goals. That's what they call a perfect interception. 18 and a half minutes into the final quarter. That's again the answer that Carlton has, has brought out as Gary Crane comes on. There, he's struggling for it forward. It's Jesselenko with the ball now. Look at this fella move. Steps a shot at goal. It's it's good. Back. <laughs> Nothing for that one, Butch. Hey? Eh? Oh, he's got me. <laughs> he actually final and we welcome viewers on the seven network as away we go jones gets a tap away alex jesselenko won the toss and they're kicking up to the northern end jesselenko
Martin, Shimmer Butchers with him. In comes Jesselenko. Mick Nolan's with him. Who's going to come out? There'll be a ball up the drink. No, free kick. Free kick for Jesselenko. Tries to knock it on. Does so. Burns is still going. He's tackled by Jesselenko. Jesselenko's got it. Cowton comes in. But Jesselenko, beautiful play. It's trap here bounce once again. Jones gets the tap away. Jesselenko gets it across here to Mangles. Mangles towards Keo, but it's Jesselenko once again coming through brilliantly. This third quarter. There's Dench trying the short one out here. Oh, Felton fumbled it, but there was nobody near him. He's got time to settle down. A hand pass over here towards Dench. It doesn't come off. Walls blocks it. It goes to Jesselenko. Jesselenko steadies. He shoots. He's put it through. Beautiful play. A real captain's effort. Down where Sheedy's the only one at home, and Sheedy misses what he should have taken. Here comes Jackson and Jesselinko. Jesselinko in trouble, gets his foot to it, and puts it... One behind, I think. I think the whistle's on the play somewhere along the line, is it? We'll wait and see. Yes. Wait for the umpire's decision. One behind, I think. It's a goal. It's a goal. It is a goal. One never. Jesselinko. Jesselinko, of and the Carton supporters are going wild with excitement as the...